Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, you guys. The stream is fuzzy. It's from yesterday. Or I told you it's fuzzy. We're going to have to restart. I'm really sorry. Oh, wait, it just cooked itself. Oh, it did. Wait, oh, man. Well, <laughs> stop moving towards and back because then it's <laughs> unsure what it wants to do. All right, maybe we're good. Yay. Yeah, I think it's the wire. We're not wire. So. Oh, we God. are no it's not yeah. I'm so sorry. Um so I wanted to good morning. I'm so sorry for the delay again. We're more on time than usual. I wanted to bring out my wrist puppies because we're gonna be bringing them out and rooming them with um Remy's puppies. And hi, Alfie. <laughs> Did you guys see that? He's reaching through the, the panels. Come here, buddy. Arr, arr, arr. Um, so we're gonna bring Myra's puppies out. Um, I did start Robin's stream, so if you wanted to see Robin's puppies or check in on them. Their stream is on, and then um, we'll we'll start the Myra stream. What? <laughs> Bobby just did this little like wiggle. He shook his booty like trying to get some off of it. <laughs> Silly. Silly, Bobby. Silly, Bobby. Silly, Bobby. Charlotte, wakey, wakey. I want. I want. I'm gonna go get the Myra yeah. puppies. Everybody. Everybody is just. Sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. <gasps> oh, come on, Charlotte. Charlotte, what's wrong? Daisy is whining and calling like they're puppies. What's wrong, Charlotte? Oh, I put her in the tray to see if she. Yeah, she came back over here to lay down. Aww. So it's like, I don't wanna. All right, so I've got the Myra puppies. They are not Daisy puppies. They might look like it. <laughs> Daisy. Oh, Daisy did it all. Oh, wait. It's like she knows that these puppies. You can't give her a Robin puppy and let, and she'll think that that will suffice. No, no. <laughs> it's got to be a Myra puppy. It has to be the Myra puppy or it's just no puppy. Like she, you notice that she's just walking around Robbie's puppies and care about them. Yeah, here, come on. And she's like, oh, this works out great. Myra's with the other two. I need these two. Yeah, this is really good, Nikki. Oh, gosh. Um, are you really piddling? This is why I put you in the train. This is why I put you in the train. And then you just went back to bed. Like Bella. <laughs> so Bella does her morning. And you too. You too. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Puppies. Here you guys going? We've got the Charlottes, the Blenheim Charlottes. Come on, Charlotte. Oh, Bobby, I see what it is. He's playing with this towel. He loves that towel. Oh, Daisy. Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte. Door locked. All right, I'm going to get the other two. Oh, real quick, before I start forgetting, a big Happy good morning to Beth. Aw, Daisy. Beth says hello. Daisy, come here. Where are you? Daisy. Daisy. Hi, sweetie. Miss Beth says hello. You say hi. <laughs> um, good morning, Amber. I'm super excited because I have your package almost ready to go. I just gotta pack it, like tape it up. But you need to be nice. Um Drew and I wanted to, um, we were going to make a thing of it. We wanted to, um, we were going to make a short video kind of about your, about sending your package. Not like, we won't be sharing anything personal, but um, we wanted to see kind of what we could do with it. Maybe um, take the puppies to the uh, post office. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that was Drew's idea was taking a couple dogs to the post office and, um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, good morning. 
Good Happy morning to Lisa, or I guess it's afternoon for you mm. and for most everyone else too. Nope. Thank her. The table. Of annoying. Bobby. Bo, her. Bo, come on. Bobo. Over here, Bobo. Bo. Good girl, Bo. <laughs> Good girl, Charlotte. All right, now we got the, we have the table. Wait so much. Um, hey there, Letty. Good morning. Hi, Kara. Oh, Kara says she's new here. Welcome, welcome, Kara. Hello, Kara. Um, nice to meet you. Yeah, thanks for joining. We raise cavaliers. Um, started to be started as like an emotional support animal type thing, and now with with the way that we raise them, we probably about half of them um, end up becoming emotional support animals, and then half of them become family dogs. <laughs> Listen to this, Charlotte. That's <laughs> the little Charlotte. She, her like little growl has gotten so fierce. You are so. Man, oh, holy cow, did you see that? No, I she was didn't. barking at Alfie and she like put Alfie down. Aw, for Alfie. Oh, he's usually the bully. Good girl, Charlotte. Sorry, guys, I'm just trying to adjust this for you. Hi, here we go. Hey, buddy. Hi, Bubbers. Finnegan. Hey, Finnegan. Oh, oh Charlotte. No, oh, Daisy, it's not for you. You two are so silly. Oh man, it's you can really feel a difference in their fur. I know. Wow. Which is weird because it's like um Myra's puppies, they're very soft, but it's like straight. Um where uh Remy's is more curly and like dense. Well, not all. I think Bobby's is like, oh, Bobby, you little stinker. You are such a stinker. It's okay, Mommy rescued you. Mommy rescued you. It's okay, buddy. Did he poop? No, he got stuck. Oh, how'd he get stuck? He just thought he could fit underneath the buffet. Oh. <laughs> he thought he could fit under the buffet. Oh. And he got scared. <laughs> Poor, poor Bob Barker. That's why he was. He was That's why he was over here going. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, save me! Oh, he's such a sweet Why do I feel like we're missing puppies here? Um, because we, I haven't gotten the other two yet. Oh. I was trying to give my greetings because I've been holding about that. Charlotte. Um, Lisa, Mickey, how are you? Good morning. Oh. Alfie. And Lisa Crane, I can't remember if I said good morning to you. So, or I, yes, that's right, because you're on afternoon, but you're only five hours ahead of us now, right? Man. You guys are now back to um, no. Greenwich yeah. time, right? Uh, I don't. Do they, do they switch? They unswitched. Oh, they, okay. They're I, back to their like regular time. I did not know that. Uh, I missed anyone. I apologize. I didn't, I don't see I didn't realize that. that uh, oh, hey, Lori. Uh, Ours is this weekend too, but yeah. I think it's yeah. I didn't realize that they did daylight savings time. Um, that was a a U.S. thing. A U.S. thing, yeah. Did you know that only Americans call the U.S. the U.S. All non-Americans call it America. That's so weird. Huh? Yeah, we could probably survey everybody and find out because we'll probably be like, weird. yeah. You guys calling it the states? The United States is weird. Oh, see, I always thought they call it like in foreign countries they call it the states. Come huh. here, puppies. Come here. This way. This way. I guess Everybody whenever I hear, here. and whenever I hear America, I always think of like. No, 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 no. We don't piddle over here. We don't piddle over here. North, That's our new rug. North America, South America. All right. Like, let me get the puppies that we're missing, and then. Can, do on. Canadians count as Americans then? What's that? Well, I know, but it's, it, to me, that's what I think of when I hear America, I think like North America, South America. Hey. America. 
just America. Hi. Oh, oh, careful, Finnegan. Yeah, now that I think about that, the whole North America thing and the United States of America really is exclusive. <laughs> like, it excludes Canadians and Mexicans. Like, who are we to claim America in our title of our country? Oh, we are the United States of America. Of America. That's what I'm saying, though, is America belongs to Canada. You have a point with that. <laughs> America yeah, is, yeah. like, North America is... North America. All the countries. So why are we, why do we get to be called the United States of, like why is it Canada, the United Territories. Ter yeah, Territories of America. Territories of America. Oh yeah. UTA. The, ah, geez Louise. What is this? What is this? Why is over here? <laughs> Elfie? Elfie? Elfie, Elfie. Oh my goodness. Who's putting me? I have got to change this tray. This is terrible. All right. <laughs> you Goodness. know, Bo, you be nice, Bo. So my yeah. rest puppies, I care if you're still on. So um, <laughs> yeah, Remy's well, puppies, they turn five weeks tomorrow, I think. Yeah. Well, um, Tomorrow's Friday. And so they'll get weight checks tomorrow when we turn on the live stream. We'll do the weight checks. Um, they don't get dewormed for five weeks, um, but Myra's puppies, Turned four weeks yesterday. Yeah, yesterday or today. Today, today Thursday. And so they get, um, they're gonna get their four week deworming today. And then Robin's puppies turn four weeks in a couple of days. And so they'll get their four week deworming in a couple of days. Charlotte. Charlotte. But um, Remy's puppies finally get a break. <laughs> Charlotte. Charlotte. They're getting nice. along so well. Mm -hmm. You remember when we tried to combine litters over the summer yeah, yeah. and it just did not go? Uh, it's funny, Alfie, he's usually kind of the bully, the bully master, oh, and bully. when Charlotte was barking and growling at him, he really like, oh, please, I'm sorry. But now this Charlotte, uh, Remy's Charlotte, is going to be in the, the pill. Oh, and for those who, um, oh, I don't know if I put it in the hey, description. I put it in the current Charlotte. one, but I don't think I put it in like the default one. Um, but this is Finnegan. Finnegan has his name. Yeah. Again. I've been calling him Finny. Finny. I don't know why, but it just rolls off the tongue. Yeah. Finny. Hi. Hi, Finny. Finny. Good boy, Finny. Hi, Finny. Nice Good boy. Which one is Lottie? That's Charlotte right here. That's big Charlotte. Yeah, I call her Charlotte, so like just in case they want to call her Charlotte when they get her. And there's one of Charlotte, so she knows Charlotte. And then Lottie right. will be just picked up really easily. Because she's got the perfect dot, so Lottie Dottie. Yeah, the, yeah, she said her daughter was calling her Daddy Lottie. Uh, Lottie Dottie. Lottie yeah, Lottie Dottie. Lottie Dottie. Lottie, Dottie. Okay, that's Lottie. I never remember that. Hi. Lottie, Lottie. Bobby's okay. like, you all are taking my spot. What's up, Charlotte? This is this is a Charlotte. Yes, you're just Charlotte. Hi, Bo. Charlotte. Oh my goodness, Bo, you are like Wait, a reincarnated yeah. Mocha. Yeah. She reminds me so much of Mocha. <laughs> Hi, Alfie. Hey, Daisy Doodle. Oh, and Daisy is our nanny. So Daisy, um, Daisy's another one of our moms. She's my ESA, my emotional support animal. She, um, I rely a lot on her when I have anxiety attacks. Nice. Um, and so I have like a long history with anxiety. I was diagnosed with PTSD when I was 18, um, but I had anxiety previous to that. It was an anxiety disorder. Um, and then pretty much anxiety just ever since. Um, and after we got Daisy, like she reduced my need for medication. She's amazing. I used her this morning when I was stressed out. She was in Myra's pool with her puppies. Whenever we call her out of Myra's pool, she never comes. But this morning I was really anxious. Um, the, yeah. We slept through all of our alarms and the kids nearly missed the bus, except for Bradley, who is really responsible for a nine-year-old. Yeah. Um, and so uh, when I got back from driving Bella to school, I was sat down on the bed and I was really stressing because I had families to get back to. I was just overwhelmed. And so I was like, Daisy, why don't you come here? And she popped right up and she climbed up the stairs and yeah. came running over to me. It's like she, she could sense it in her voice. Yeah, it was really awesome. Bobby. So. Bob. Bob Barker. <laughs> don't chew on that. I'm like, but I want to see what happens when I do. Sure, then. Um, and so Daisy is um, one of our mama dogs, but she has, she's on break right now. She's not, um, she had her last litter last spring and she's on break. Aww. Rocky. Um, 
but these other puppies, the little ones, she has like adopted. Rocky. Which is why she's over here and their mother is playing with friends. There. Yeah. You know. They try to nurse off of her too. That's the funniest part is Aye, she is a doggy pacifier. That's going to be our invention. Doggy, pacifier. doggy pacifier. Doggy pacifier. Drew's been searching for something to invent for like since I met him. <laughs> and um, whenever we come up with something or whenever he comes up with something, we'll, um, we'll get like this great idea going and then we'll, we'll double check the Google. And, and, it's, and it's already there. <laughs> Someone's already made it. And so, but I think a doggy pacifier, we need to look at that because that's something we need. I know there's not a big market for it, but where the market is, it'll be popular. It'll be popular. Yes. Because doggies need pacifiers too. They really do. Like when they stop nursing, um, yeah, when they're that. eating dog food, they continue to nurse on mom, but not really for like any nutritional value. It's, it's, just for the comfort. Hmm. Oh, don't bite on her toes. Hmm. Hey, Charlotte. Or Lottie. Lottie, Dottie. Hey, Lottie, Dottie. Lottie, Lottie. Hi, Daisy. Are you making sure your puppies aren't getting kicked on? Hmm. Another funny thing about this litter that Daisy has adopted hmm. is that of the three hmm. litters we've had, hmm. this is the only hmm. litter that the puppies colors yeah. match what her puppies always yeah, look like and so that was just the other, other like funny part about it was that um out of all the litters she could have picked <laughs> she could have picked the other litters that had black and tans and rubies but she didn't oh no hit again hit again you hit are again. getting so big you're so big yes you are <laughs> you and yourself backwards mm -hmm. Girl. Daisy, why don't you talk to Remy's puppies so they can meet you and talk to you a little bit? You love this towel, yeah. you goofy boy. Let's bring it over here so you can play with it over here. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Charlotte. Good girl. Here, Bobby. Look. Okay. Look. Okay. You got my jeans? Oh, Alfie. Oh, Alfie. Alfie. Alfie, don't you on that? Alfie. And we wonder where we get Alfie. Hey, Alfie. Alfie. Good boy. Come Good on. Good boy. Good boy, Alfie. Alfie. Come on. Alfie. Alfie. Come here, Alfie. <laughs> what? What? Alfie. Good, Good boy. boy. You're such a boy. good boy. <laughs> Why are you guys yelling at me then? Alfie. I'm gonna go grab him and hold him. Come here, boy. Oh, sunshine, you're so cute. Oh, Alfie, he's a good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Stay here, though. You're gonna stay here. Whoa! Wait, that's Bob. I got Bob. No. Er, yeah. Whoa! Whoa! He wants to say boo. Such a boy. A boo. Yeah. <laughs> Sunshine, Look at her are so adorable. Bouncing around in her little back end. She is so playful. I'm Bo. She is one of girl. the most playful puppies we've yes. ever had. Yes, she is. You are. Like if she's awake, she's bouncing around. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's Charlotte. Oh. Oh, oh. I think after you they met you see in Pom Pom, they're like, in there. you want to play with some big dogs. No, not over there. The point of this morning is to play with Myra's puppy so you guys Aww. can, you guys can oh, pick on poor Rocky. Share a puppy. Hi. Hi, Bo. Hi, Bo. Howdy. Howdy, bro. Who's a good boy, Alfie? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Yes, you're a good boy. Bobby! Hi, Bobby! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hello, Bobby. You're such a sweetheart. Come here. Oh, I love your fur. Your fur is amazing. Mm. Mm. Wait. Oh. Okay, Charlotte. Hey. What's the matter, Charlotte? Why are you so scared? I'm surprised, though, with sleeping through our alarms that we were able to get the live stream up and running without before, it getting too late. Yeah, uh, before it turned into the afternoon. Um, oh, and we have been talking about getting the live stream up earlier and getting it started earlier. 
And I know that we keep saying it's going to, we promise it's coming. Um, but Drew and I were talking this morning about like really winding it back to okay. the 9 a.m. time. So just putting it out there so that um, if you wake up one day and get a little notification that says we're going to be live in 30 minutes and it's early, um, that really is, we're really are trying to start it a bit earlier. Um, it would be nice if we started earlier than this beginning part. It will still be like, true. What is it? I'm if sorry. we started earlier than this beginning part will be done by like, by the time it is now. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Whoa. And then with three letters, yeah. we've got time for all of the toenail trims yeah. that we always need to do. Oh, Let's check stuff. those nails. They all, oh my gosh, they already need to be clipped. I was just saying. I, I someone, was half joking. <laughs> I thought I felt someone's uh, nails. I was half joking. I did not think that they were actually. I just clipped them two days ago. Good boy, Rocky. When, um, for any families, when you bring your, so Daisy's not lactating right now. This is why this is interesting. Because Remy's puppies aren't the ones that have been nursing on her. It's Myra's puppies. You know, maybe we should get uh, Myra out of here. Because they're all. The <laughs> Daisy are... is happy as a clown. And well, they've been nursing on Myra all morning. That's because that's, uh, that's Remy's puppies. I know. Kind of um, that's why I think it's funny. Because she's got to be producing something at this point. Because. Whenever moms are running low on milk, the puppies get angry and they'll they'll start scratching out of her and they'll um you get milk already. Yeah, they'll like kind of um bob their heads. Not not like the head bob that they do to draw the milk out. They'll like bang their heads against her nipple yeah. and like they almost try. do like a head butt with their butt. Yeah. It's more like a, their nose butt. Like, like come yeah. out. Yeah, they do a nose poke. Um it's okay, Rocky. But so it's just interesting when Daisy is not lactating that they're all so feverishly trying to nurse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're so well, big. Little Miss Charlotte here has a uh, dew claw that needs to be a trim. That's what I'm feeling. Oh, there's clippers right here. There are? Yes, there are. Yes. There's sunny sunshine. Oh, sunny. It'll be such a nice nickname for you. Sunshine. Sunny. Yeah, sunny is it? Sunny sunshine. Oh, oh sweet boy. Boy. Girl. Why are you guys shaking? It's okay. Oh, what I was going to mention to families is that um, you may see us um, needing to trim their nails every couple of days, but once you take them home at eight weeks, their nails aren't growing up fast. Um, by eight weeks, you can usually reduce it to like once a week, and then by Probably about four months, we go to every couple of weeks, every two weeks. Um, and a lot of that, I was talking about this yesterday, but it was later on in the stream, so I'll say it again. But um, when they're puppies like this, they're not running around outside, right? And so Daisy, for example, Daisy and the other adult dogs, they're all running around outside. Oh, my. Nice. Um, and when they're running across, like, the driveway, when they're running even down the wooden ramp we have uh, outside the back, that kind of trims their nails because their nails um, scrape up against each stride. Their nails, especially, you know, as their feet are going like that, as they run, it um, shaves their nails down. Every time that they, you know, take a run like that, it trims their nails just a tiny bit, not a lot. But it kind of keeps the front ones especially in check a little bit. Um, keeps you from having to trim them this often every two days. Um, but it also, um, like if you are checking your puppy's paws to see if they need to be trimmed, um, the places that get missed in that whole running around the yard procedure are the dew claws. Um, and so you always want to make sure you check their dew claws because you don't want, um, the nails can, um, curl around. And they can curl around and they can do like, they can injure the dog real easily in a few different ways. Um, the nail can get caught, especially if it's curling around and it's got like a hook on it. Um, it's real easy to get caught. Um, I've seen dogs, this is a long, long time ago, but I saw a dog who got their um, nail caught in a crate. And so like when my family, this is when I was growing up. My family, um, 
was they were calling, they were calling him out of his crate and he wasn't coming. And then eventually he came and he was like whining and fussing and he like shrieked. And the what we could come up with was that his nail probably got caught on the crate. And then when we kept calling him, calling him, he eventually wanted to obey and um oh my goodness, Bobby. Bobby. You are so good at pottying. <laughs> but not in the tray. <laughs> Um, uh, that's right there. And then the other thing that can happen is um, if it curls around far enough, it can curl around and then pierce their skin as it comes back around, which, of course, then is ripe for infection. So, um, and then that also reminds me, too, um, we thought it was just us, just our dog, and then we thought it was just Cavaliers, and I don't know if it's just Cavaliers still, but other people have told us they've seen the same thing. Oh, and she's got um, some of them have hind dew claws and sometimes they're a little bit different. Like sometimes they'll be just as valid a toe as the front dew claws. And then other times like Spike, so Spike has a couple of hind dew claws, but they're like not even really toes. They're just like a little appendage. And the best way to describe it is they're a lot like skin tags. We had the vet look at them and he, he suggested just like, Lobbing them off and you know, wrapping them up and setting them home. But um, I don't, for whatever reason, I was uncomfortable doing it. I don't know why, looking back, why I didn't just let him do it. But um, the way I was picturing it was him having his feet wrapped and then running around the yard. And I was just worried about him getting hurt. And so um, came home and talked to Drew, and then we never, we never did it. But um, the point is, is you want to make sure that you are checking those nails yeah. and. When you, if you first get a dog or a puppy, Easy. just check their hind leg, hind right. feet, just to rule out that they have any hind dew claws so that they don't get missed in nail trims. Because they're kind of high up and they hide in their fur, and yeah. so you really have to feel for them. Um, Sunshine. Sunshine has, um, hers are kind of like in between real toes and like what Spike has. Hey, hey, hey. We need to go to puppy jail. Hi, Bobby. Where's my phone? Say like, hello. Hey, Drew, where'd you go? Uh, oh. I thought she was outside. Oh, I put her outside. <laughs> I opened up YouTube to pull up the live stream, and there's this video. I just have to laugh and point this out because it's so funny. The title of it is Insufferable Brat Gets Owned After Cutting in Line. And then they quote her email of her saying, I'm famous, I have 70K followers. Some people. Some people. All right, let's find. Oh, there. Oh, dang it. Wrong one. Daisy. Hey, Paula. Oh, you'll use the nickname Sunny. Oh, she's Sunny. It fits her so well. She's, such, she's so sunny. And Myra's puppies, they are getting good at crawling out of Myra's pool, um, which is why we've kind of had to, you know, instead of fighting the crowd, we're working with the crowd. Um, and it's worked out nicely. They just, they crawl out to see Myra. Oh boy. Stop, baby. You gotta be careful letting Robin run in. You gotta be careful letting Robin run in. Daisy, stop, eat your food. Robin. Daisy saves her food just so that she can guard it. No. Yeah, Hi, Robin. Hi, sweetie. You're such a good girl. Robin, come here. You are making Daisy so mad right now. Come here, Robin. You're You're going to go to your puppies. Hi, Rob. Don't forget your puppies, sweetheart. I know. I know. I just got full hands. Hi, Rob. 
Myra! No, See, oh, Myra, Myra, no. Myra doesn't care about her puppies. No, wait, I, let me, I shouldn't say that. She does care about her puppies. She loves her puppies. Um, it's really, really common with first-time moms. When they have their puppies, they just, like, go all in. They, it's, if, you, if you've had children, um, at least in my, with my experience, when I had my children, when they were first born, I was so excited when we were still in hospital, when they would cry at night, once I kind of woke from, you know, the grogginess, I was always so excited to see them. And so I, I theorize that our first time moms, they, they're so excited for their puppies. They're still on that, like that afterbirth euphoria and, um, like she has, she wouldn't leave her puppies at all ever and um we'd have to pick her up and this is pretty typical for first time moms but we'd have to pick her up out of the pool to make her go outside and potty or else she would just hold it um if we let her she would hold it um and so but by the second litter they usually learn to now now back to your puppies it's not puppies. the biggest deal if she well, I want I want her pups to like nurse on her and. I know you say she has so much She doesn't. Well, she no, no, because look, I wanted them to like be comforted, because uh, both Charlotte and well, her puppies are like they're just all intermingling. Oh, Myra, girl, here, come here, come here, Myra. Watch. Um, and so what we try to do with them, though, and what we tried to do with Myra was, all right, Alfie, not you. <laughs> Sorry, Alfie, that's not your milk. Um, that's your pups. We try to <laughs> give them, like, breaks. Oh. Try to, we call it me time. Um, because that's the best way to describe you, it. Alfie. We try to, um, come here, come on, then again. To focus on, Make you know, play with their friends, do something different for puppies. Because they burn out. And that's kind of what's going on with Myra right now. She's nope, burned nope, out. Nope, nope. Two, three. Oh no! Oh no! Which is why we've let oh. Daisy kind of come in and nanny her puppies because Here, if mama. Daisy doesn't come in and nanny Myra. her puppies, Myra. her puppies just don't have anybody sorry, to. Myra. I'm sorry, Myra. Play with. Remy, come here, Remy. Good girl. Come here, Remy. No, come here now. Your puppies want you now too. You're okay. They want you now too. Come on. There you go. There you go. Stay right there. I know you're hungry. Oh, you want to go get your food. Cool. Puppies, you get a puppy call. It's not a butt dial. It's a, let's see. Butt dial, puppy. Um, oh, there's the Robin stream. I love what I love about the streams is it serves as a as a baby monitor. Like one, two, three, four. Is it up right now? Okay. Oh, I didn't know that. I, it on. I, I did not realize it turned on. Hey, John, how are you? Ricola? Ricola? John Ricola. That's the only way I remember it. I don't know if it's... I don't, I don't know how to say it regularly. Hey, Sue. Wait, no, this isn't your mama. Your mama's over here. You know what? Here, let's put Myra. Oh, Paula, I see sunshine in the background. Yeah. <laughs> the sunshine. Yep, sunshine's right here. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi, Rocky. Rocky, Rocky. Sunshine and Rocky are the ones who have led the discovery of climbing out of the pool yes, they into were. Mama's bed. Yes. Uh, I think it was Rocky first, and then Sunshine yeah. was like, whoa, dude, good idea. I thought it was... This guy, I thought it was Finnegan, because he was so big. I thought we thought that he was the one that was like peeking up all the time. Maybe it was did. always these two yeah, that I was. It was always the blue merles that I was picking up for bad. So. Yeah, they were. Maybe it was him for you. But... Oh, you know what? No, maybe you're right. Maybe, we're... maybe he was just looking, and then they saw what he was doing, and they were like, "Oh, hey, that took us oh, yeah, forever." Oh yeah. Oh, oh it's you. okay, baby. It's okay. You're so smart, Rocky. You are so smart, Rocky. Boy. Where are you going? Yeah. Where are you going? There's not more milk over here. <laughs> you want to come up? You want to come hang out? Um, Sunshine, Paula, oh my goodness. Oh, I should take on a video. When we brought them out to nurse on Myra in her little bed, 
um, they all nursed, uh, and Sunshine finished up before everybody else, and she, I got up to go, and, like, potty her, and then I saw her go over to Myra's what? face, and Myra was laying like she is now, and Sunshine just walks up to her and just starts, like, kind of batting her in the nose. Yeah. And then Myra sat her head, like, she looked like, up, and then Sunshine got on her hind feet and went, like, you know, full... Like bear attack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good girl, Myra. Good girl. You're doing good girl. Good mama. Who's a good boy, Rocky? Whenever I whenever I do that, I wanna be like Rocky the fourth. Rocky four. Oh, Rocky you Four. The Rocky movies. Oh, so I always hear people talking about Rocky Four. I feel like I always that's what I see whenever Rocky they talk about the Rocky movies or yeah. Rocky Four. Rocky Four was the one where he fought the Russian. That's the one that like oh, everyone. That's, that's why Rocky Four is such a big deal. Yeah, that's why everyone yeah. likes Rocky. So I wanna yeah. want Rocky Four. And then um uh, but that's, that's funny. That's kind of has something to do with their naming. Oh, does it? So they had another dog that passed away. I think they said seven months ago and his name was Rambo. Aww. And so they wanted to kind of continue on, uh, like a, the naming sort of thing. And so it's Rocky now. I need to find a good city for Bobby. Oh, we do need to find a good city for Bobby. But I thought that was really sweet. I thought it was so, so awesome to it go from... Is. From Rocky to, or from Rainbow to Rocky. Rocky. He does make a good Rocky. I, yeah. We we're on the phone. I said that, that. I thought that, like, for some reason, like, I see him and I think Rocky Road. Oh, like, I think Rocky Four. Uh, Rocky, you think Rocky Four? <laughs> I think Big Tough Rocky. Oh, you're so cute. How precious is he? I wish we could keep a bloomer all. <laughs> oh, bloomer all's for us. Oh, he's okay. Come on, Rocky. You the want the risk with blue merles is you don't want to breed them together. And so, because we don't want to breed them together, we just don't want any that are breeding at all. Um, just to keep the blue merle gene in check. Um, so, like, in theory, we could theoretically keep and breed one blue merle. Um, but we don't, we don't want to even we, start down yeah, we, yeah, we don't want to chance it, so... You don't even want a chance. Come here, Rocky. You want to eat, Rocky? There's there's plenty of nipples here for you, buddy. Stop, Myra. Myra, stop. This is Myra burning out. Yeah. Um, we've talked about how Missy, her first litter, she she burned out after like five days. Yeah. She went like from from head six first. Yeah. And that, that's why the problem was that she went into it going 120 miles an hour. Like she was. Well, that's why I think it's like, it's kind of like when I had our babies mm -hmm. and you have that after birth euphoria where right. you were just like falling in love with your baby. And I'm curious if it's something similar for dogs. And, and so that's why they go head first into it, nose first into it and, um, that's and get burned out because they don't, they don't yeah. pace themselves. Right. Are you, you cleaning her? Okay. I've got. I've got Bobby over here chewing on my shoe. Bobby, don't chew on shoes. <laughs> He's being funny. He's like fighting it. Oh, Remy. 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 You gotta go here. around, sweetie. Yeah, come here, Remy dog. Hi, she sweetie. She wants her food. Oh, do you want to go in your... No, no, Remy. She probably love to eat her food when the puppies are not in there. <laughs> you stay right there. Wait, Myra. Wait. Wait, I got her. I know you were so so good. No, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Now he's like, I'll just use my all of them. <laughs> <laughs> jumping, I saw them jumping over the top. They're like, well, if mom's going to get back in the pen. <laughs> Hi, Bobby. Yeah, you come play with me. You come play with me. Mr. Bobby. Can we get you? her oh, get her in the tray before she fills it? Don't her lie, daddy. Come on, Lottie. There you go. Go potty, Lottie. Go potty, Lottie. Oh, another funny thing about Daisy nannying is that we've always noticed nah. that um, okay. Daisy, when she is pregnant and when she has puppies, she always has a single ear that flips backwards. And it just stays like that, you know, for a little while, for a few hours, and then it'll eventually flip forwards, and then it'll flip back. But it happens several times a day, only when she has puppies oh, yeah. or when she's pregnant. It's almost like she, it's like a hat that she wears. <laughs> um, and so ever since she adopted Myra's litter, guess whose ear started flopping back. back. 
it's gotta have something to do with the puppies and I like I wonder if the way she's laying it just it starts becoming like yeah, maybe. Bobby. Oh you're not Bomite. <laughs> yeah, Bomite Bobby doesn't. <laughs> Look at her. She's getting so big. Who? Charlotte. Oh, she looks like she true. doesn't even belong. I know. Well, Little well, Charlotte is now big Charlotte, but so does so does Mr. Uh, um, Finnegan. Yes. Finnegan is pretty big. Aww. Okay, let's not overwhelm her. Good girl, Myra. Good girl. Alfie's like, I can't help it. I, I can't, can't help, help it. But I smell the milk. I smell it. It's delicious. <laughs> no, yeah, but I want I want the taste of something foreign, something exotic. <laughs> Different. <laughs> Going for the uh, the tricolor ladies. Yeah, I was gonna say his mom was a blunt. I know. So. Silly boy, you're what so silly. Are you, silly doing? Are you all done? Are you are you pieing him? You're so sweet. Yeah. She's such a good girl. Sure. <laughs> you are such a good puppy. Myra, are you all Myra. done? I think she wants to go to her food. Yeah. She's, she's too. Okay, puppies, hold on. Here, you want to do this? Um, do you want to fix their food and then we can introduce oh, Myra's puffs? And then you don't need to make it like super liquidy, just, or actually, you could put a little, make it a little bit liquidy so that her puppies can drink the liquid yeah. and then the other puppies can eat food. Okay, come on. You guys ready for solids? You ready for solids, huh? Oh, <laughs> you guys need to see this. It's so sad. Puppies are distracting her right now, but Charlotte was um, reaching into the pen to get to Remy. <laughs> and she's like, Mama. Hi, sweet Charlotte. This is an awful lot of puppies all the way over here in this corner. Come on, peppers. Come on. Are you Are you piddling? Are you piddling? We got a potty treat for that. Why are those paper towels not how we need them? <laughs> I can't believe we waited so long for waterproof blankets and Puppies, Charlotte, did you finish going potty? Um, but these little waterproof guys have come in so in handy that we waited way too long to start investing in them. Oh my god, that looks like so many puppies. It's only 12 though, or 10. That's eight. Eight? Yeah, it's only eight. Why are you peeing here too? My goodness. I was writing in the description this morning about everybody's potty training going so well. Everyone's just. We're gonna make a liar out of me. Nope. This is why I was so excited to get the washable rug that we have over underneath this other pen. Because it's like it's so flexible that it, you could use it as a blanket. Oh. 
Anybody else need a potty break? Oh, Poppy's going fine night. Poppy. Oh my goodness, I'm going to take you guys around so you can see. Oh no, Cheryl's waking him up. But Elfie was in this like weird position that looked really cozy <laughs> until Charlotte got him up. Charlotte! What's the matter, baby girl? Eye level. Yeah, that's what. Oh, can you guys see Elfie? I told you he was cozy. That's the Elfie puppy. You're such a good boy. And there's Bobby. There. Remy, you ready to come out? You ready to come out? Oh, you're such a good mama. You are such a good mom. Oh, there comes Charlotte and her playful personality. There it comes. Oh, you are such a precious. Who's oh. a good boy? <laughs> you guys are all so playful. He's got, his head. He's got his face like tucked under the blankets. It's the sweetest thing. <laughs> Oh, we need to find the water bottles. I found them. Oh, you did? Yeah. Hello, there, sunshine. Oh, and then also families, you will be hearing, you can expect to hear from us to be scheduling um, uh, the, so Remy's next round of FaceTimes and Myra's FaceTimes um, and Robin's FaceTimes. Um, we wanted to get Remy's going um, and get all of her puppies families, FaceTimes, uh, get those all done so that we weren't um, forgetting anybody. We don't want to forget anyone. Um, and so you can expect to hear from us. If you are, if you are a Myra family and you have not yet FaceTimed, um, you can expect to hear from us very soon. Um, otherwise, um, if you have had your first FaceTime already, we'll be scheduling your second FaceTime. Um, and then I, 
I think Robin's puppies, I don't think we've done a FaceTime on Robin's puppies yet. So we will um, be scheduling those too. Yes, we will. They are ready for FaceTime. Um, we used to do FaceTime, like we used to do it like earlier when they were younger. Um, but before they open their eyes and their ears, there's really not much point because they can't hear, they can't see. Um, and so like, you know, especially with FaceTime when you're not here holding them, um, it's just, it's it, with their limitations, it's just not as, it just doesn't make much sense is pretty much is what it comes down to. Um, but when they hit like three weeks old, um, their eyes and ears have opened and then they've also had a, a little bit of time to adjust to that because they, you know, their hearing has been muffled and they haven't been able to see. And so that's, oh, um, oh my goodness. See this? Let's see how yeah, I, even, I brought the camera over. He's got his face <laughs> buried in it. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to. Are we gonna move these guys over to the bigger? I, no, I thought we were gonna. Oh, that's right. They, they haven't even had this corner open yet. Yeah, that's true. Um, I thought we would open the corner and put Myra's puppies in. Yeah. But uh, we got a uh, vacuum in. I wanted to yeah. vacuum it yesterday. And... Um. Do you want to put a bigger? Oh, I just pulled her out. She wanted out. Oh, she did. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you want to put a bigger uh, potty pan in there? So we've got maybe temporarily, but like they're so big, Remy's puppies are so big that having that giant tray in a small pen gives them no room to play. Well, I was gonna say we can either do the so that's the twenty four by twenty four. We yeah. could do a thirty by thirty or one of the rectangle ones. The rectangle one really takes up the space. It's going to take a lot of space, yeah, I agree. Um, the 30 by 30 might be okay. In fact, I don't even think we ever did the rectangle one in there. Um, the 30 yeah. by 30 we do, and it takes up a ton of room. It does take up quite a bit. Um, it's that's why my, my apprehension is with I'm just eight worried. puppies I'm just worried about, that are old enough to play. Yeah, I'm just worried about um, uh, Myra's and pups going from a very small pool with a big well, so well, the way I thought of it was that they've had very intensive potty training. And so I was hoping that they could. And then the other thing is that they've got four other puppies that are taking up space. That is true. Hi. Hi. Oh. Who's swinging? Is that sunshine? That's sunshine. Or no, no, no. That's Rocky. Rocky. What's up, Rocky? Hey, buddy. Oh, Bobby, I love you. Nice, Charlie. I love you too. Don't be upset, Rocky. That's a good boy. Yeah. You guys ready to try some food? Piper. Piper. You're not Piper. It's not orange. It's Finnegan. Yeah, you're Finnegan. It's Finnegan. Come on, Rocky. You're so cute. Good boy, Rocky. Jiggle. Hey, Bobby wants to relax. Respect. His boundaries. <laughs> Bo. <laughs> she's just so playful. And she's just like jumps. ready to go at any moment. Okay, bud. Bo. Okay. Bo. This Hi. is a lot. I know, huh? Bo. -bo. It's been a very exciting day. Aw. Remy knows the names of her puppies. Yeah, she's like, you call my, call my puppies? Bo -bo. What are you That's doing? Okay. Here. Good boy. Oh, or Rocky is shaking over here. What's your doing? So, um, oh, you can't see me. Um, for any families that are, if you're new, uh, if you hear us talking about the the puppies shaking, um, if oh, you yeah, yeah if you uh, happen to live close enough that you're able to come and visit your your puppy in person instead of doing the FaceTimes, the first time that you meet your puppy, don't be uh, uh, heartbroken alarmed. yeah or alarmed if they are doing this sort of like tremble. Oh bless you! Oh my, um, the the trembling that they're doing is not an I'm scared trembling or uh, I don't like you trembling. It's more of just a I am 
overwhelmed. Like I have a lot coming at me and it's like their brains yeah, just kind of start in, yeah. firing all. Yeah. They're in overload mode right now. And so it's not that not they're, much. that they're afraid of you or that they, um, you know, don't like you or anything like that. It's just, uh, you know, they have a, a new, new environment um like right now like this is only the second time that they have these guys have been out this is the here first time. is it oh, the second time because i thought we brought these guys out once before no no, no, no. So. Oh, okay but so yeah this is their first time so it's just there's new new sights okay. new smells new sounds um and it's just you know a lot coming at them at once and so this is like their their default mode okay though huh. we actually kind of consider it a good thing if they're shaking because like especially with a facetime call with families it tells us that they're paying attention and they're they're engaging and they're interested because if they weren't interested they wouldn't pay attention and they wouldn't end up with shakes yeah. um and so when they're on a facetime call with families and they start getting the shakes we always reassure families that that's a good sign that it, it means that they're they're happy they're interested in you and have enjoyed their time so yeah it is not uh, because they're not trying to get away that's the thing that, that we always kind of show everybody like is the puppies will be trembling in their you their, are a little spitfire yeah, today their family members they're like, like they're, they're forever family if they when they're here the puppies will be doing this tremble while sitting in their lap and so that's what we how we reassure everybody's like if they were truly afraid of you they'd be trying to get away they'd be trying to uh, you can think of it like taking your kids to disney world um <laughs> it's a positive overwhelm when your kids are screaming at you well, yeah and they're <laughs> you so know, excited to put they're, they're the like kids to bed and yeah. they're screaming they don't want to go to bed yeah. and they're not tired and they're screaming and <laughs> You want to pull your hair up? You said scream like three times now. I'm thinking of Bella. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, I know exactly. Because she right. just screams in your ear. It's just, yeah, it's just she, she's she's talking, but she's just talking at a higher, a much higher volume. Um, but yeah, so like, um, you know, your kids can get overwhelmed at Disney World, but it's a positive overwhelm. Yeah. Or when someone, yeah, when the kids are so exciting that they're shaking. He's falling asleep doing this though. Yeah, they're yeah. all one night night. I think they're all asleep. Oh my goodness, except these two. Except those two. Charlotte will be out here in a minute. Go see her. <laughs> Look at Lottie Dottie over there. All stretched out, conked out. Look at Bobby. He oh, knows he's home. Sweet Bobby. Sweet Bobby. He is happy with uh, the two. Uh, no, he's happy with me. I know he's happy with you. <laughs> I love how he's sleeping though with his paws out to the side. He was okay. doing that on the floor. At first he had his paws like this with his uh -huh. head rested on him and the puppies were bothering him. And so then he moved up the floor like that. Man, he's so sick of goat. He'll be a great macchiato replacement. I was gonna say the same thing. You are reading my mind and it's freaking me out. <laughs> that was that was we exactly even have families awesome. who want macchiato. Oh. It's like a oh it's like a sign. It is. He, Macchiato, he's such a good dog. It's like the one the one con in our con list of keeping Bobby is getting rid of Macchiato because Macchiato is a such a great dog. We, like we hate to bring home. Yeah. But if Bobby's a better one. <laughs> we love our dogs. We just we don't want to keep keeping them and you know collect. We don't want to be hoarders. Yeah. And we don't want to be aired on TV on hoarders. Yeah, and uh, not yet, but the the dynamic is um, the dynamic with Macchiato is weird. Yeah, the dynamic, especially dynamic, with Rio getting older. Exactly, it's um, we used to have to break up uh, a number oh. of dog fights between Spike and Macchiato. Yeah, we that was one thing. Yeah. Like we try to be real transparent with you guys, but we don't want to worry anybody. And yeah. so there were there were a couple of times yeah. where, like, man, we That's got real close yeah. to just rehoming one of our stud dogs just because we. Yeah, it was getting dangerous. Yeah, it was it was getting to the level of dangerous. Um, but that's all gotten a lot better. It's yeah. got so much better over the summer. Yeah, I don't know what what it was. 
I think it was, I think, I really think that Macchiato was getting braver and braver at challenge Spike and Spike was just like, whatever, whatever, whatever. Cause he's such a right. beta dog. Yeah. And then finally, I think Spike just had it and was like tired of all of the, all the undermining of his authority. <laughs> there you go. I'm still first. And so he probably took him outside when, you know, where he knew that we couldn't come and break it mm-hmm. up. You know what? Didn't one of them come back and we were like, did you get bitten? Oh, yeah. Yeah. There was that. Does that sound familiar? That does sound familiar. Like, we were like... It, like, when did this happen? Someone had a... Um, there there was, like, a little bit of blood. blood yeah. There was, like, blood on his snout or on his head, something like that. Yeah. Like, his ear. Yeah. He had, like, a... He had something on his ear. Mm. I remember because I thought I was afraid it was a tick, and you are like, yeah. that was a scab. Oh, yeah. That was Spike, though. That was Spike's ear. Well, I mean, it could have been either. Oh, I do. Good boy. Aww. I think it's like wrestling, where you have to pin them down for a certain yeah. amount of time. <laughs> it's okay, Rocky. I got you. You can just relax, buddy. Good boy, Rocky. Rocky. Mm-hmm. Look at Bobby. Look at how he... Oh, yeah. he's changing it, but he had his face muzzled. Him. That's not Bobby. That's Bo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There goes Finnegan. Bo is just as... Oh, my gosh. He's just going to sleep. He's like, oh, I'm so tired. Just rolled right out. Oh, how are they so tired? Because they're playing hard out here. Yeah, they're, I guess so. They're running around. New. We should grab Robin's puppies and bring them in here and be like, wake <laughs> up. <laughs> That'd be brutal. Robin's puppies, they make me laugh every day when we start the live stream because. Um, I try to be quiet when I go in there because I want you guys to see their reaction when they hear our voices, but almost every time I end up ruining it, um, like talking to Robin or something, but when we go in there, um, and they're all sleeping, Robin can be in there. She'll be munching on her food. She'll be making all kinds of racket. As soon as they hear our voices, like if Drew and I are talking to each other, if we come in and we greet them, they all, their heads just pop up instantly. Oh, yeah. doesn't matter how hard they're sleeping. Their heads just pop up mm-hmm. instantly and they start scurrying around. like Almost like how they scurry when mom comes in and they all want to eat. They scurry around trying to get the prime spot for kisses and snuggles. Yeah, yeah. whenever they see us, they're like, oh, it's those big things. Yeah, they, and the Robin's puppies are, they're going to be really good ESA dogs. Yeah, they are. They all are. I shouldn't, I shouldn't say Robin's puppy. It's, but like that behavior, that's something that um, you won't, you wouldn't see a puppy be that interested in people if they were not going to be receptive to people. Oh, not oh, my no. heart. Oh, Bobby. Oh my gosh. And I feel like the worst mom of the year because I didn't get any pictures of our kids on oh, Halloween, man. but my phone is filled with pictures of puppies. <laughs> I'm sorry, I should have been taking photos since I was Yeah, you the, could have been taking photos since back. I was, since I was the taxi man. Sorry, I should have been doing this. Should have been the, the taxi photographer. Because I'm the photo taker, and so whenever I'm doing stuff, yeah. no photos get taken. Oh, yeah. I read something once about how moms are like never in any of their photos because moms are the ones who take the pictures, and so whenever the moms are doing something, there's not a photo taker. And so moms don't end up in any of the photos. Oh, Bobby, you're so cute. It's like he's splooting with his front paws. Mm. Elfie! <laughs> wakey, wakey. Are you getting comfy? It's like, this is good. This is good right here. <laughs> <laughs> just hold my I've head, just please. lost my hand for yeah, the next but... half hour. <laughs> Look at this. He's has his eyes closed Aww. and he's still doing like a little like tremble. Look at Bo. Oh Bo. She's so Look sweet. Look at on her face. Oh my god, she wants it. I'm not. And that's where she put her face. I know, that's so funny. Like I'm this. just holding my hand how I have been. <laughs> I pointed it up to you. I know, but it's just it's getting funny. It looks like he's splooting with his front. Yeah. You guys can't see his other paw, but it's like yeah, spread out. Yeah, it's supposed to be a spread eagle and just asleep on top of Finnegan. I think it's awesome that him and Finnegan are snuggled up together. Yeah. See, I think Bobby would be a healthy 
in between her with Rio and Spike. Mm -hmm. I think Rio will take top dog. Yeah. Spike will be yes. downgraded and Especially. Bobby will probably go right between them. Next. Yeah. But, uh, well, we need to make sure all is good with Rio. Yeah. First. Rio was, um, I don't know what was going on, but he was like all jittery, like, and doing his, his, and I couldn't figure out what it was that he was so. He so, wanted to go outside and let the girls out, but um, he wasn't finished with his food, so I didn't let him know. Hmm. Oh, Alvin, you're so sweet. Are we going to take Myra's puppies back to the uh, pool and then clean this up? And then, uh, and, yeah. Okay. I think it's probably a lot to yeah. just plan to put them directly back in. Because I would like to change out a lot of that. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Man, bad, mm -hmm. stressful mornings really. No. These really help. Oh, sorry, I have a stressful morning. Man. Ugh. How many times did you get up last night? I was pretty much up throughout the night. Oh, God. The Myra's puppies, nursing them. And... That's good. And then, like, two o'clock. Oh, and you know what? That's fine because I got up at about 1 30, I had a pee really bad. Mm -hmm. And I got up at about 2.30 with Myra's puppies. I got up at about 3.30, having to pee really bad again. I remember me telling you about that. What is this? Oh, you were, I just drank a ton you of water. You were drinking so much water before bed. And I yeah. was wondering what was going on. because I was so thirsty. Yeah. The dogs were better about not going outside a hundred times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, miss. What's going on? Where am I? <laughs> That's like exactly what she's thinking. Like, what is this? Where are you? Uh, I'm suspended in the air. She looks like a. Uh, like, oh like, my gosh, we're, what's holding me up? A jaguar. Whenever they lay in the trees, they have like, a, you know, both, uh, yeah. both legs hanging over the branch that they're on. Oh, okay. But I'm going to go put Mr. Uh, well, bring him, keep him here so we can give you food. Oh, that's right, food. Yeah, isn't that what we're waiting on? Yep, yep. I totally forgot about that. Sorry. That's all right. I get distracted all the time. <laughs> Elf, look at you so cute. Can I have my hand back? Oh, he's searching for. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was so sad. <laughs> I tried to slowly pull my hand away, and Alfie just scooted forward and was like searching for it. <laughs> Hey, buddy. Here, I think he just wants a full blown snuggle. There we go. Oh, oh is that better? You're a good boy. Such a good boy. I'm sorry, you don't have to stay awake. You can go back to sleep. Yeah. Oh, poor Bobby. Finnegan just like woke up and sat up and. Mm. Mm. Finnegan, what's up, buddy? Let me scoop bow. See, so you guys are getting kind of big, but we'll see what we can do here. Fit there, hmm? Bo is like not supporting any of herself. Hey, hi, Alfie. Who's a good boy? Mm -hmm. It's a good boy, Alfie. Yeah. Oh, wait, you're Alfie. You're Finnegan. I'm getting you guys backwards again. Finnegan is getting so big. Head bubble. Oh boy. Are you hungry? Do you want to eat breakfast or lunch? Huh? You want to eat lunch? 
You want some puppy food? You want some puppy food, huh? Hmm? You're such a good boy. Yes, you are. You guys get a week off from deworming this week. Yay. I'm impressed all of the puppies have done really well with their dewormings. Usually they're usually they're coughing and like spitting it out, but all of the puppies and each of the litters has done they've all done really well. Yeah. I'm gonna put you down, put you right there. Finnegan left you. Oh. You are such a good boy. What are you doing? Oh, uh, Lunch is here. Don't go back to bed, Elfie. I know you love to eat. <laughs> Remy's like, I'll, I'll eat lunch. All right, Bobby. No, that's not for you. Sorry. She's like, yes, it is. Eventually. Not now, though. Aw, Elfie. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, yeah, I do want to eat. I am hungry. Oh, Bobby, come on, Bobby. All right, then again, let's see what you think. This is Myra's puppy's first puppy mash. Yeah. Then again, what do you think there, Mr. Mr. So Rocky. usually they'll just um. You want know, to go spoon? A lot of times they'll just lick. They'll just um, like drink the water. Um. And fast, let me grab my red dog and squirt some booby milk into a cup and throw it in. Yeah. But as long as we introduce them to the taste of it, then it usually goes a lot better from there. Like as long as they they get familiar with the taste and the, the scent. Like tomorrow when they try it. <laughs> oh Bobby. Oh, you're piddling, you're piddling. No, 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 no. Piddle over here. Oh, they just want to see their mama. Poor puppies. And Remy's just trying to lick the food off of his face. Oh, good boy there, Rocky. Oh, you just piddle, mama. Oh. You know, I can go do that. No, it's all right. Can you help them serve me? Because everyone's not supposed to sleep. They're all going to sleep, puppies. All oh, puppies. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Wake up, everybody. Come on. Come on. Wake up. Good boy, Alfie. Come on, Rocky. Come on, Rocky. Good boy, Rocky. Did you go potty? Did you go potty? Good boy, Rocky. That's a good boy. What a good boy you are, Rocky. Yeah. Good boy, Rocky Dog. Here, hey, you want to try some? You want to try some? What do you think? Mmm. Yummy, yummy. Yeah. Come on, Rocky. Wake up. Wakey, wakey. Rocky. The rock star. Rocky the rock star. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Some more. Some more. Yeah, it's yummy. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. 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 It's okay. It's okay. Oh my goodness. Then again, it's okay, buddy. It's okay, then again. Hi. Hey, what you think? Look at this. I mean, oh, what you think, Rocky? Thinking about it. I can tell you're thinking about it. Yeah. 
Alfie. Alfie, what are you doing? Come here, Alfie. Slip boy. You go over there with Lottie. Lottie Daddy. Hi, Finnegan. Rocky. Rocky. Who's a good boy? Good boy, Rocky. Come here, Rocky. Good boy, Rocky. Sunshine. Here's sunshine. Let me show some too, sunshine. There you go. Good girl. Good girl, sunshine. Good girl. That's a good girl, sunshine. Rocky, come on, bud. Come over here. I'm going to bring you over here, bud. Oh, all right. Put that face right into it. Ready? See? There it is. Right there. See, sunshine? Bloop. Good boy. Come on, Rocky. Good boy. Good boy, Rocky. That's more liquid. Yeah, good boy. Come here, Charlotte. Come here, Charlotte. Miss Charlotte. Nina. You know. Daisy, hush. Good girl. Good girl. Ooh, yummy. It's your turn, Finnegan. Here, Finnegan. Finnegan. Hey, buddy. Here. Now your turn. Okay. Daisy, hush. It's okay. Hold on, guys. All these dogs are making it difficult. Oh, don't, get, don't stand at it. Don't stand at it, you silly boy. Put your face in it. There you go. Easy. You are in this beautiful moment, Casey. Oh, yuck. I stuck my knee in a little thing. Dang it. Yucky. Hi, Bubs. Oh, Alfie, you're kind of like in the way, bud. Hi, guys. Hi. Good boy, Finnegan. Good boy, Finnegan. Hi guys, what do you think? You guys like the food? Is it yummy? Is it yummy? Oh. Hi. Yeah, interesting. Hi guys. Oops. Hey, it's okay. Let's talk. Oops. Good girl, Lottie. Good girl, Lottie Dottie. Oh, what's up? Come here, Finnegan. Let's go, boy Finnegan. Uh, I gotcha. Good boy Finnegan. Here. Big bite. Yummy. And big old tires. That's a good boy. There you go. There's more right here. All you can eat buffet. Mm -hmm. Listen, there, that's that is Mr. Rocky. What are you doing? Oh, Daisy, go lay down. That's it. Good boy. Good girl, Sunshine. Good boy, Finnegan.
Mm. Oh, mama. Is she in the spot? Yeah, I love this mommy milk. It's mommy milk. Don't step in it, Finnegan. Like, 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 there's the mama milk. Here, Finnegan, come on, bud. Marla, you want to try the mama milk? Thank you, son. You want to put some on the spoon? Yeah. Mm, that, that's just a bad. Oh, yeah. Maybe I am. Mm-hmm. Nice. Hey, again, had his face in there. Okay, Rocky Dog. Oh, you go potty. You go potty, play girl. What's up? I think we're good. Oh, good girl, sunshine. Yeah, sunshine. Finnegan. Come here, Finnegan. Charlotte, come on. Finnegan, Charlotte. Where are you guys going to? Daisy. Go lay down. Uh, there were like two boobs that were willing to spray for me, <laughs> and one of them was spraying sideways. Oh no! Dogs' boobs spray their nipples spray just like people's do. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Excuse you, Finnegan. Oh, come on, Ace. Come on, Charlotte. Oh, Daisy, you're ruining this. What's that? Go potty, Finnegan. Go potty. What are you doing there, mister? It's okay, sunshine. Finnegan. Finnegan. Where are Finnegan? Finnegan. Finnegan. Come on, buddy. Hey, guys. It's okay, Charlotte. It's okay, Sunshine. It's okay, Rocky. Finnegan. Come here, buddy. Come here, Finnegan. Good boy. Good boy, Finnegan. That's it. That's it. The good boy. Good boy, Finnegan. Yay! Oh, good boy. You came when called. What a good boy you are. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy, Finnegan. Good boy. Oh, you look so shocked. Okay, you guys. Are you all done? I think you're all done. I think you've had enough. Quite enough. Oh, goodness, oh goodness. Finnegan. Oh, Finnegan. Hello, Finnegan. Good girl, sunshine. Good girl, sunshine. Oh, they're all done. Okay. Good puppies. Oh, good puppies. He's getting tired. Oh, I'm going to go back to your, your cozy pool for just a little bit. Yeah. All right.
that's Rocky. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's we'll stick to the top. Actually, here's one. I know, I know, I know. I think these four are ready to go back to their pool for just a little bit. Oh, it's okay. Uh, he's right there, sleeping. Lisa, I know you're wearing his purple clothes. Oh my goodness. I'm going to send you a video because he's sleeping. He's a good boy. I'll send you a picture too because he's so darn cute. There he is. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. What a good boy. Oh, look at their two faces together. <laughs> oh, they're not doing any more now, but their noses were together. I'm sorry, Charlotte. Alfie. Alfie. Good boy. You guys are so sweet. Definitely have some leftovers. Remy is eyeing those leftovers. <laughs> we usually let moms finish the food that the puppies don't finish, so she knows the routine. You're such good puppies. Oh, <gasps> Alfie. Did that little cat nap give you some energy? Do you want to eat now, maybe? You want to eat? Here's some Myra Mama milk. Oh, he's a good boy. Hi, sweetie. Hey, Diana, how are you? Oh, yes, Paula. Um, so Sue is right. She, um, Sunshine's dad is the same as Beatrix's dad. Um, that's where the blue girl is coming from. So, um, yeah, you could probably expect her to look quite a bit like um, Beatrix. Um, the moms are both um, on the smallerish side. Daisy's pretty petite. Myra's not as petite, but she's still like she's on the low end of average. So if their average weight is like fifteen to eighteen pounds, she's like right about fourteen, fifteen pounds. Um, she's very athletic, so like her weight is in her muscles too. Hi, Remy. Do you want out? Oh. Well, you're not going to eat all of their food yet.
Are you staying out of trouble, Alfie? How about you, Bo? Everybody's awake now? What happened? Oh, Mama came out. I see. Cameras, so you guys can see them. Hi, girls. What? Puppies. What's going on, birds? He smelled the food and got impatient, so I pulled her out. I've been cleaning up all this with my hands. She's going to like lift the lift this out of here. We're just gonna have to completely break it all down because they've had enough accidents on this blanket that I don't want it to be encouraging my first puppies to piddle. All right, guys, why don't we go over to the other or the other pen? What are you gonna get the over there? Um. I would just let me it's still only gonna take us a couple minutes. Are you guys? Well, do you yeah. wanna just pin them with this then in here? Um sure. Yeah. yeah. Put it down. Oh yeah. Actually, I'll just go around the Very clever, Bo. Very clever. Mr. Bo. Sneaky Bo. Miss Bo. Or Miss Bo. Yeah, Miss Bo. Yes. I mean, sorry, it's weird. You're going to tell me. Sorry. 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 Holy smack, that thing really did just completely correct itself. Yeah, it's Okay, Remy. Oh, yeah. Um, so what was the other, um, good boy, Alfie. That purple one go. Right here. Oh, this one 
What's that? Uh, nope. Oh wait, where do our rugs go? That's where our rugs were perfect for. Uh, those little rugs. Yeah, so yeah this can go under. They are. They need to be washed. This can go under and then this. Is uh. <laughs> you silly boy. First, yeah. Bobby. <laughs> Um, we can leave it the other, um, in the L. What? That other white uh, piece of, of fence right there. No, no. 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 Nope. 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 Come on over here. Come on, pups. Come on. I know. Err. Oh, err. Because oh. I think that's, that space is big enough for Myers puppies, too. Um, just for, you know, for now. Uh -huh. And then after a couple days, we can expand it. But just for like for a couple of reasons. Right. Is a little bit better of a viewing angle. I know, I'm just trying to keep it from falling on us.
This is better than a card. I, yeah, I like that. I thought that, I thought that was a great idea. Right. Oops, sorry, folks. <laughs> All right, we're gonna. Little Mr. Charlotte is over here by herself. Poor lonely little thing. 
I'm just going to snuggle. You're just going to snuggle him? Yes, he deserves premium. Snuggles? Premium care. Bobby? Yeah. <laughs> you remember when you had Mocha and you were like curtain her around everywhere with you and you wouldn't put her down? Maybe. Like, there was a point when he was making fun of you because you were such a sucker for her. Oh, he's, he does so many like mouth noises. <laughs> like, he licks his lips and he snorts and he schnuffles. Goes. <laughs> 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 you know, like goes under, right? What's that? Yeah, the one that stings goes under. Yeah. Is that what you were moaning about? No, oh, sure. What's up? What's that? This wouldn't really work for Mocha. Bobby's such a chill pup. But I can put him on a carrier. Oh, that's the Bobby carrier. Good oh boy, Bobby. No, not you. No. Ew! Oh, gross! Did, dog. You just, did you just encourage her to vomit on you? I, like you picked her up and I picked her up, and that's what happened. It was, like, <laughs> was grody. I want to show you guys the carrier that I I have, and I'm using it with Bobby right now because we get asked a lot about carriers. So this is the carrier. This is one of the carriers that we have. There's another one that straps on the front, just like a baby carrier, and they face outward. And their little legs dangle, and there's a little hole for their tail. Um, but this is like the, um, or like the crossbody. So it's like this. And if you're wondering where Bobby is, sorry. <laughs> Just hold on to the camera. That'll make it easier. So there's Bobby. There's Bobby. You say hi. Um, the only thing that I like to caution families about these carriers is usually don't let children use them no. because, um, it's really important safety wise to have it on the side and kind of actually toward the back like this, like so, um, because if you have it in the front like this, um, it's not putting pressure in the right areas to keep them in there. If you have it like this, then they can just like crawl up and out. Um, and so it's really important to make sure that you're wearing it correctly. But it's nice because then you can carry your puppy with you when you're doing dishes or vacuuming. Might make you sweat a little bit more, but, or that's just me. <laughs> Burning calories. I don't want to put Bobby in the pink, <laughs> the other one that we have. Maybe I'll do it so you guys can see. Because he's the perfect size for it. No, don't put Bobby in the pink one. No, not the pink one like this. The pink um, backpack. Yeah, I know. Don't put him in that one. I just, just to test it out, or I can put Charlotte in it. Okay. All right. Good.
It's also nice this is like a perfect length to like hold on to them too. All right, I'm gonna pick the camera up again, guys. So I can do a little demo for you. Okay, so real quick, the nice thing about this is like when I'm walking around, I can kind of hold him like this so I can support him and pet him and talk to him. His head's right here. You can put your phone right here, play a little lullaby. Um, this is the other carrier that we have. Um, this is the one I was talking about where they face outwards. And you strap it like this. I'm gonna put that one on real quick so you guys can see it. I know, Bobby, you don't call me. We'll put Charlotte in there since the pink is so... Oh, okay. Um, it's just like a baby carrier, like literally just like a baby carrier. And Charlotte will be our model. Gotta figure out these fellow wearing yes. Yes, it is tightened all the way up. Oh heavens, Mara. Hey. All right. So, let's make it a little bit longer because we want it to cross and back. So ladies, I find this to be most comfortable when the strap comes right underneath the breast. Adds a little bit extra support, but it's also really comfy. It's, just, it's like a good marker to be like, all right, this is good to see here. Let me show you. So you can see the puppy will be right here. And that is how it's born. I think I got the twisted back there, but it's okay for demo. Charlotte. So this is meant to put on their collar. Now, um, I don't know how many people feel about this, but um, I kind of, so I always cringe and like bite my nails whenever we drive past like a pickup truck and Family's got like their dog in the back of it and they have them tied with a leash to the bed of the truck because if if they jump out, you want to let them be able to jump out. You don't want them to jump out and then, oh, hey, hey, we can't talk, say that on YouTube. Um, because if you can imagine if they are tied to a six-ish foot lead that's tied to the bed of the truck or even to any part of the truck, if they jump out going 25 miles an hour, not it's not going to let go. And so they're better, they're safer actually without the lead. So um, I don't use this. In fact, I should cut it off so that nobody accidentally uses it. Because if they jump out, we don't want them to jump out and then have that trauma of being caught on their neck. Um, puppies especially, they're so... Um, we've had a lot of families come over and especially with kids when the puppies are little... And the kids have tumbled puppies, kids have dropped puppies, and um, they're okay. Like they're, um, they're, it's like, like babies. They're very durable. Um, we don't recommend it. We don't recommend it dropping and tumbling puppies. Um, but it's safer in my opinion, in my personal opinion, it is safer than um, the alternative. All right, so this is the front. 
There's a little tail hole. We're gonna put our tail through the hole. Foot. Get the two foot, and then we'll pull the tail through. Get the foot claws. Um, and if you haven't done this very much, always recommend doing it with like your Drew or your Elizabeth if you're a dude. Um, because they wiggle and squirm. She's being very cooperative. Not all puppies are this cooperative. I'm being a very good demo puppy. There she is. <laughs> She's like, what is this? I don't know if I like this. Where's her tail? Here. It's okay, baby. You can relax. No, I can't. This is a very un like natural position for them, so it does take a little bit of a little bit of bopping around and relaxing and they figure it out. A lot of times they'll start, they'll bring their head back and they'll just like lay back and go to sleep. Okay, baby. You're such a good girl. He's okay. I do not know how I feel about this. <laughs> Get another side. Side view. You're done. But it is really nice. It's really nice to have this. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to use it a whole lot because, um, Whenever we leave with the dogs, we're usually going driving, and so, you know, you hit drive with this. But it's really, really nice. If we were to go um, hiking or just go for a walk with the other dogs, this is a really good, um, yeah, it's really nice to have this on hand because the puppies just can't walk like the big dogs can. But, um, and this is a size extra small, I believe. This comes in much bigger sizes. Yeah, and if you were coming and picking up uh, yeah, she's relaxing, see? She's so, relaxing. Yeah. Um, if you're coming and picking up the puppy from us and you're needing to like order some some doggy wear or you know uh, harnesses, for instance, go with the extra small and in fact Yeah, I'll always find, go with extra small. Yeah, if you can find extra extra small. That's usually a better bet. Yeah, that's even an even better bet. So uh, don't go for small. Small is is not small enough for um, yeah for Cavaliers when they are eight weeks old. Unfortunately, mm, baby Cavaliers. <laughs> okay, all done already. Oh, your pen is ready. So she's got her arm. I don't know if you can see, but she's got her elbow tucked in here. Um, what I've noticed when we use this with um uh not Mocha before Mocha. Vienna? Yes, Vienna. Um, I noticed that she would, usually like one arm would be out and the other arm would be in. And I just think it's like a, a comfort thing. They're just, you know, kind of like when you get up in a chair and you curl up and bring one leg up. Uh, do you know where the top of this guy went? Um, you're such a good girl. You're doing such a good job. She's still a little nervous, but she's not shaking. You're such a good puppy. You're a perfect model. You're such a good girl. <laughs> I think it's just very unnatural for them to be sitting like up on their butts facing out. Um, and so there is like a little bit of a learning curve for, for the puppy, but... Um, these little carriers for dogs are amazing. Oh, and then this is another thing. I cannot like stress enough how dangerous this is. Um, and I hate that um, pet companies insist on putting these on. They didn't used to put these on these sorts of objects, but it just doesn't make any sense to me because if they're gonna jump, it's so much dangerous to have this attached to them. If they're going to jump or if they're going to climb out, it's so much safer to just let them do it. Because if they're going to, they're going to. And having this attached to their collar or their harness is only going to cause injury if, if it has to be used. And so it just has never made sense to me. Um, and so whenever we recommend these sorts of products, I would encourage you to just cut it off so that 
know if a friend wants to try it, they don't even think of it. So you see, you see this and you're just like, oh, okay, let's latch. Yeah, uh, that thinking or, that it really is the safer way and it's not. Either that or you can use it for like securing, uh, you know. Car other, keys. Yeah, car keys, something like that. Don't yeah. use it to secure the puppy. To secure the yeah. Oh, she's really relaxing. You're such a good girl. All right, you ready to come out? Um, unpacking, unpacking your puppy. I always do the zipper first because this is Velcroed up here. And if you unvelcro and then zip, she's just gonna come flying out. No, actually, I'm gonna, I wanna show how the, you can do it by yourself. And so I always unzip first. So that we can have both sides unzipped, still support them on their front, of course. But you then have this Velcro still there, you know, just in case they're squirmy, because a lot of times they are very squirmy. By the way, we're not paid for any of this. This is just me explaining how much I love this stuff. So we're not paid. We're not, like, promoting. This isn't a spot, like, none of that stuff. He's okay, baby. <laughs> She's so nervous. She's got a bit of fear of heights. And then you just pull them out. Oh, he's a good girl. You're such a good girl, Charlotte. Well done. Well done. All right, you want to go lay back down? So those are the carriers. Oh, wait. Um, those are the carriers that we have, the puppy carriers. Hi, Robin. Robin. Charlotte is like the perfect size. Uh, I wish we had this in a neutral color. Oh, and you know what? The size of this is a small. Huh. And I imagine that there is not an extra small or else I would have purchased the extra small. So if you happen to look this up and it doesn't come an extra small, it's it's probably accurate. This is also really comfy. If you get the straps the right length, that's why I recommend having it like go right around your boobs because it's really, when you have it like that, it's just really secure and it feels very secure. You don't want it to be loose, you want it to be nice and tight, kind of like a car seat. All right, I'm gonna untwist this so that we can start putting puppies back and we can bring my red puppies in. Hey, Charlotte.
right, boogie doodles. Can I go potty? Who needs to go potty? Who needs to go potty? I'm thinking of putting the Andrews towels like right outside the not tray. Bad. Yeah, not bad, yeah. Did you fix it? No. So it looks a little bit better though. It's not as blurry. Not like the best pancakes, but I don't want to do one of the donut duds because it'll be um, it'll be will be all inclusive. Right. Yes. Yeah, oh, pupper doodles. Uh oh, big doggies are doing something they're not supposed to be. Bobby, you're such a good boy. Good boy, Alfie.
This is the blanket that Myra's been using, so I'm gonna bring it over here so that her puppies have something that smells like her. That really smells like her, not just like a lamb chop that's been rubbed on her, but Myra's been sleeping on this for a couple weeks now, so. Now, so we'll have too many blankets. <laughs> Come on, puppers. I know, Daisy. You're not going to be able to sleep at night right now. What are you going to do? problem with having a lot of puppies is um, if they all have to go potty all at once then the tray gets a little I used my wrist blanket that she's been sleeping on. But it's not like her. But everybody is they're they're getting a look at them. Oh, oh, I didn't realize you brought all of them out here. Jeez, wait. Oh, hi guys. My goodness, look at you guys being so so respectful of each other. Good girl, Charlotte. Is Charlotte? Good girl, Charlotte. Oh, oh. It's hard to see the black and tan on the blue one.
Guys, be nice to each other. Don't be hurting each other. Be nice. Yeah. So fuzzy.
You gotta look at the data for our year and a half old wonky stream. This is so bizarre to me. Drew? You gotta see this. The data. Start it so that we can fix this fuzziness because it's really annoying. Hey, Drew, I'm going to restart the live. That's your job. Yeah, especially when the puppies are being so cute. Yeah. That's so weird. Everyone's complaining about being thirsty. You thirsty, Bella? You want to drink? Yes. Hey, sweetie, did you have picture retakes today? Aww. It was, it was me, Preston, Ray, and Gabby. Oh, good. Daddy, did you know? Because we weren't. Because we weren't. 
there. We weren't there. Love you, Bella. But yeah, that's fine. Oh, I know, Elvie. Mm -hmm. All right, folks, so I want to fix this fuzziness, and the only way I can do that is by unplugging the camera and plugging it back in. And so what I'm going to do is um, the stream is set up so that um, when I shut it off, it will just automatically load the Robin live stream. Um, and so if you want to hang out on the Robin live stream, um, while I plug the camera back in, I have the listing set up. If you wanted to go and wait on the new stream, uh, the new Remy and Myra stream, um, you can hang out there for a couple of minutes while I unplug the camera. Um, otherwise you can go ahead over to Robin's for a minute. Um, but either way, it'll only take a minute. I just need to end the stream, unplug the camera and plug it back in. But the listing is already up. The link is available, um, and so you can uh, you can go right over to it if you want to um, wait over there. But we will see you soon. Thank you for joining. Oh,